Hello guys, this is Christian from swimtofly.com and today we're gonna learn how to float and relax for the very beginner. They are not able to go in the water and they are very afraid uh, to learn how to swim. So the step one to learn how to swim guys is to be comfortable bringing your bubbles underwater. And you can go where it's shallow over there. See, I am in the swimming pool and I touch the ground. I feel comfortable. So learn how to blow your bubbles five seconds with your mouth or with your nose underwater. You can blow in your hand, you can blow in the water like this, so let's see. Okay, I can do my 5 second bubbles, perfect. Now after 5 second bubbles, put your eyes in the water, blow for 5 seconds, don't drink the water, and let's repeat. Alright, you can see in the water, Baby, you show me? Yeah. So, when I'm able to blow my bubbles for 5 seconds, take a big breath in, <gasps> exhale for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 seconds. The next step is to learn how to float. So guys, remember when you learn how to swim, your body doesn't sink, you will not touch the ground, you will not hit the bottom of the pool if you relax. So try to be like a leaf under water, relax your hands, relax your legs. So you do the same, you try to land your body over there, I'm on my hand, I'm on my legs, okay, I go deeper and deeper, okay, I'm here, I will learn how to float just in 30 cm of water, no problem. I do the same, 5 second bubbles. Okay, now I will open my arms a little bit more, try to feel then I can float, so be wider. Go deeper with your head and your body will go up by itself. So the idea is to don't touch the ground with your hands, but let your hand go up. Imagine you are like flying like an airplane. Okay? So we do one more time. Okay, when you are able to do this, Go right slightly more deeper. Repeat the same process here. You put your hands on the on the edge over there. You blow your bubbles, you, you let your legs go head behind you. You just do nothing. Open your legs, open your arms, completely relax. Exhale five seconds and feel you will fly in the water. Seconds. You can even push forward with your legs if you want. So you push forward and you imagine you are like Superman. Just take a big breath, blow your bubbles, push and fly forward. Remember to don't jump, everything has to be smooth and slowly. It's super safe. I can practice where it's shallow, I can feel my body floating, I can relax 100%, I repeat and repeat until you are comfortable with it. You can do your 5 second bubbles, you can look underwater, you can let your body float, you can push with your feet to glide forward, try to glide longer, so I can glide 50 cm, I can probably glide 3 meters, Allez, I will start from here, my objective is to fly until there, just by floating, okay? So guys, you can float, you feel you are not drowning, you see, let's, the harder thing is to go down actually, if I want to go down, I can't, I'm like, I always say to the, to the students, they're afraid to fall, I say, try to go down, it's very complicated, it's much more easier to stay on the surface than to sink, so I take a breath, I do nothing, I will not sink. If you relax, you will just float, basically. So once you can do your 5 second bubbles, feel you can float in any situation. I will be sitting, blowing my bubbles, standing up, I will float back, like this. So you can float, you 
you can use your hand to change directions. The idea of your hand is to pull the water from the way or another to be able to move. You can kick with your legs to move forward and you can use your hand to move in any single direction. Remember in the water is like you are in the sky, you can go everywhere you want. Okay, there is no limit. I relax, I blow my bubbles, five seconds, and I try to experience to move directions. Okay, the, the point is after you finish your bubbles, when you have no more air in your lungs, it's time to go up. If you stay underwater at that moment, you will need to take some breath. If you are underwater, you will drink water, of course. This is why blow your bubbles for five seconds or longer. Relax as much as you can. And after your bubbles, you are not able to swim yet. Just stand up, put your feet on the ground, grab the wall, take another breath and repeat. You can practice how to float and change direction in the water as long as you can. Just remember to don't go in the deep end yet if you are not 100% comfortable about it. You need to be able to swim by yourself to take a breath after, okay? So when you can blow your bubbles 5 seconds, change directions, feel you can fly in the water. The next step is to breathe up after your bubbles without touching the ground. You don't need to touch the ground. You just need to paddle under water with your hands, okay? Pull the water with your hands, feel the power of the water in your hands, okay? You take a breath, you take a breath in one time and you repeat the fly. So you can fly five seconds, breathe without touching the ground and fly again five seconds. If it's the first time, right? It's a bit scary, right? You are not sure, so don't go where it's deep. You can practice the skill here. You see, I can touch the ground, it's less than one meter. So I will try to go from here to here. And I will try to don't touch the ground using my hand after my five second bubbles. And I will try to go as slow as possible. Being able to swim is being able to be super relaxed and comfortable. So I will practice my skill here. I can blow my bubbles, 5 seconds, I can fly, now I will try after the fly to breathe without touching the ground and to repeat. This is Piero Notto. Hello guys. How are you bud? Good and you? Good. We are making a video to learn how to float and relax and feel like cool right? Alright. So let's go. I fly 5 seconds, I will try to don't touch the ground when I breathe to reach the end after flying again five seconds. So I just did it. In case it doesn't work, in case you you scared a little bit, you will touch the ground, it's fine. Let's say if I fail, I'm afraid, my legs will touch the ground, but it's still okay. And I finish. So now the next step is to be able to fly, take a breath without touching the ground with your legs, and fly again. Okay? So to don't touch the ground with your legs, remember, pull with your hands slowly, and with your legs, kick the water behind you slowly and easy in the sky, a bit like this. Okay? Just flat the water slowly. You don't have to do strong kick, you don't have to bend your knees. Just remember, keep your legs near to the sky, as high as possible. If your leg sinks, it's easier, it's harder to, to fly. So make sure you are horizontal with your legs on the surface. We try one more time, this time I will use my legs and I will do my pulling with my hand to breathe without touching the ground. Okay, you practice where it's super shallow, no problem, no, no fear, no stress, everything is under control. I can do longer distance now. I'm comfortable, let's try to go where it's slightly deeper, go back to the shallow side. Alright, so here I touch the ground with my feet. I'm still safe, okay? So from here to the end, let's practice. 
float five seconds, blowing your bubbles. Kick slowly with your legs on the surface. Move your hands slowly to take a breath. <gasps> One breath is enough and repeat to fly. Remember, then you are floating. There is no problem. You will go slowly and everything is simple. And I've just finished my swimming. If I can do this for 10 meters without being stressed, I can do this for 20 meters, 100 meters. You control the speed. Remember to go slowly, easy, blow your bubbles, practice when it is shallow, when you're comfortable, increase your distance and enjoy to swim. Remember the swimming is like flying and uh, if you have any tips or recommendation, let us know on the channel. We'll be happy to help you. This is Christian from swim to fly Don't forget to download our swimming to fly app on the Apple Store on Google Play. You can visit swim fly.com for more tips. And I hope to see you again next time. This is the Caroline. This is Bubba. Hi, guys. You will see him soon. <laughs> see you. Cheers, guys. Bye. <laughs>